starting to rain here now. Um, it's supposed to clear up according okay. to the weather app. It's supposed to clear up around noon. So hopefully it does. So right now it's raining. So we're gonna get a shower this morning. Uh, I was one of the first ones again. Woke up at eight. Was rested pretty good because I went to bed early last night. Um, now we're gonna set up our little kitchen and our little stove. And I'll do just do a little time lapse and show you how I kind of cook my meals. So uh, here we go. set up, I'll have my tent set up, I'll have it all set up so I'm out of the rain but just because it got here so late um, Tuesday night I didn't really feel like setting up and then because you're only here for like, two nights you got to break down anyways and you're on to the next uh, the next celebration, the next powwow so I was just like uh, I'll just sleep in the ride, I'll just pop the hatch of the, the Civic I mean, not the Civic, but they'll pop the hatch on my ride, <clears throat> and I'll just hang out. And then uh, this morning I woke up and it was just starting to try to rain, so I kind of improvised. I was just going to go buy breakfast, but I'm like, eh, you know, I, I enjoy cooking my breakfast, I enjoy my meals, I, um, I have the food, I don't want to waste the food, it's going to go bad soon if I don't eat it, so I've improvised and I found this little shed, this little space. Uh, I must have picnics here or something. Anyway, yesterday no one was even here all day. When I was walking by here, I noticed that this place was empty. So I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna park under here, pull back far enough that I can uh, lift the hatch of the SUV up, <clears throat> then I can cook, throw it all back in, and yeah, got breakfast. But this morning, I, before I did that, I didn't think about it. Uh, I just I grabbed a coffee. Should have made my own coffee. Uh, my coffee kind of tastes better, but we got coffee, which I'm grateful for. And I'm gonna eat now, so I'll pick you up in a bit.
Stand special, so jingle and grass, don't get undressed, you'll be able to dance in that as well. Holy smokers, man. That is so awesome indeed. And they're all going to be paid out in uh, all the cans and bottles that are left out. Uh, I know I'm just kidding. Yeah, we got that much money, yes. All right, we call forward Barry, uh, Barry Wilson, Rusty Millette, Aston Amos, Tom Bird. Salisa, you lucked out. Come on over here. Holy smokes. You gotta have one boss in there, right? You gotta have a boss in there. Yes, and she's a good boss as well. Hey, again, we took her out of the lineup over there. She was getting her food. Right, looks like we got them all in place. All right. Host drum will be utilizing you once again there, boys. A lot of singing there, guys. And that, these guys got all young voices, man, I'll tell you. Oh, man, I like that. I like that. You were young once. You were young once, yes. Always utilize your voice. Strengthen the voice as well. All right. Make sure that uh, you have a little water handy there, people, as well. Water people for these dancers out there. All right. Ready to go there, uh, judges? All right. I... Judges are talking. and I think we're missing one judge. We got five right there. Straight sneak up. All right. One more judge is what we're looking for. Ernest Stevenson. Ernest. Asta. No. Okay, we'll get someone else. Oh, Ernest is coming, all right. Holy smokes, I can feel the warmth up here. Yes, indeed. So just a reminder there are uh, people as well here this evening, uh, you know, this afternoon. It's getting a little bit warm out there, of course. It's nice to also have that little wind. So whatever you do here, uh, you're on camera as well. We got the uh, right up there. Check it out. Do not stick your finger in your nose. It'll be all over Facebook. Hey. All right, we got our judges in place. We're ready to go. We're gonna go all over here once again to war paint, if you will, boys. Straight song for these traditional dancers right here. All right, anytime you're ready there, guys.
and gentlemen, to our men's traditional dancer, Holy Macintosh. Awesome display of culture and tradition right here. Telling us a story, of course. All right. Stand still, don't move a muscle. Don't move, boys, don't move. Cool down, settle down, boys, settle down. All right. Of course, we're going to leave this up to our judges as well. Thank you very much, uh, judges, for helping us out here this afternoon. And of course, right after we're finished with the tea, with the uh, with this special here, uh, there, folks, we're going to get right back into a pow. And of course, we're we're going to go with our teen girls, teen girls traditional. Stand by right after this song. We're going to be calling you back out here as well, uh, judges. As well, that's judges Gabby Francis, Stan Saunders, Lawrence Pichet, Scott, uh, Kirby Scott, and Quentin Martin. Stand by. You're going to be our judges once again here this afternoon for our teen girls categories, teen boys categories. Right after our teen boys of fitness, we're also going to have a few more specials that are also going to be taking place here as well. So we're just going to kind of switch them up a little bit, kind of give everybody just that little break of course and also make sure that you uh stand by as well uh you know just in case there is ties and things like that in the contest thing here as well and uh no ties in the junior categories so we're all good in that area but of course uh you never know might happen and then we also have a junior girls under 17 jingle dress special and we also have a under 17 junior boy uh, boys under 17 grass dance special as well here holy man all right let's go for song number two. Oh no no we're picking pardon me all right we're <laughs> just about hey boys just about holy smokes we're picking our dancers six dancers going to the center Colby, stand back a little. Colby's dancing exhibition. Oh, geez. Last mistake I'd done was uh, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Not 1960, 19 something, it was yesterday. Right. Oh. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give our uh, rest of our dancers a big round of applause here. And make the cut this time, but there's always the next time, right? Always the next time. All right, these six dancers will go on then to another song. And of course, this is going to make our champions here of oh, the committee special right here, men's traditional style. And of course, uh, stand by. War paint for that uh, song there, boys, that uh, was requested as well. And we're going to water them down, give a little bit of water, share a little bit of water there, people. And uh, if dancers, if you don't have any water, just kind of pull up some of the grass there. It's got a little bit of water on it. Hey. <laughs> kind of squeeze it together and, uh, you know, just like, you know, when you're going out and walking about, you need water. Yeah. All right, let's go for song. He sends right back over here to the war paint. Let's give him a song. Who got it?
Seven o'clock, still pretty early, anyways, for me. Um, starting to get undressed, no ties in the contest. I'm putting all my feathers away right now, as you can tell. I have a place for everything, all my feathers go in there, my whole bustle fits in there with my suit. Um, all these feathers, everything goes in there. So, I'm gonna get undressed real quickly when they call them while they call. Uh, winners and then I'll uh, be all ready to go and pack up and head off to Frog Lake. Well tonight I'll be heading to Saskatoon so the sooner the better so pick you up in a bit. right here ladies and gentlemen with these two that have been selected right here the women's fancy and the men's fancy i want to pay them all equally equal they all get equal money because equal is very important okay well come on over here ladies if you can come forward over here Shake hands with the family here. Well, news update. I took third place. I lost a lot of points in that first grand entry that I didn't make. Um, I think if I would have made it in grand entry, I probably would have got a lot, a lot higher. But I'm grateful that I made it here. It was a good weekend. Uh, 600 bucks. That basically, uh, there's a little mosquito. There's mosquitoes all over the place in here. I don't know how the mosquitoes got in. Like I don't have any doors open or any windows. But mosquito in here. Try not to get eaten. Oh yeah. There we go. Killed them. Got them. Anyway, um, yeah, we're off to Saskatoon tonight. Get a hotel. Um recharge. Get some get all my Kong water filled up. Pretty uh pretty empty on that stuff now. Uh, yeah, lost a lot of points in that first gun entry, but we made 600 bucks and we got to dance a bit and yeah It's a good weekend or a good week uh, It's weekend. It's uh, Thursday now. So we will touch back in with you in a bit So update I don't know if you can see me or not. It's kind of dark out right now um, I drove in on this dirt road And I was wondering why
you up and put you back down. I left, like I just started driving and now I can drive and uh, should be there. I'm planning on 1.30. We're gonna put it out in the universe. We're gonna get to Saskatoon around 1.30, uh, find a hotel, get some good shut eye, shower up, um, grand entries until 7 p.m. tomorrow. So I can kind of mosey on there. It only takes three hours from uh, shoot from Saskatoon. I forgot where I was talking about. So I'm gonna hit up Costco. I want to get some protein bars for sure. Like I really want to get protein bars from them. Um, what else am I gonna get? Gonna maybe get some, maybe get a little bit of snacks or something. Like I want get some fruit for sure because. Snack on fruit, like I'm allowed to follow that on my meal prep plan. Need some more um, almond butter, and then I'll just grab a couple of random other things. Uh, maybe some more more coffee beans. Unless I can, hopefully I can grind them up there. I don't know how it is out this way for COVID, but I knew before prior to the pandemic, you can buy coffee beans and then grind them up. They would have grinders at the entrance, so I'll have to ask them about that before I buy it. And I'll just buy a big bag of coffee so I can have it uh, when I go to the powwows, because I only made coffee once, but it was still pretty good. I made it yesterday. I should have made it this morning because I ended up cooking. And I wasn't too sure if I was going to cook. So yeah, I had coffee in the morning already. And I just didn't want to pull it out and read. I didn't do the coffee. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Met some cool people. Um, some people that I've talked to. or I haven't, even, I haven't ever even talked to on Facebook. But um, their son, the one that I was talking about before about him really loving my TikTok dancing and like they were just surprised to see me there and well, yeah other people surprised to see me like that lady last night after the whole um or during the round dance songs singing of the war paint it's funny you know she was shocked to see me and it's just cool to go to these events and then people see me and they're just like blown away that I'm like a real person and like I always listen to people, you know, because people take the time out of their lives to talk to me, to watch my content, to share my content, to, you know, they take their time out of their lives to support me. So why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I take the time out of my life to support them and show my gratitude towards that? You know, I don't understand how some people allow certain things to get to their head and they they just feel they take things for granted, like you know, like celebrities and things like that. Getting upset for people wanting to take photos with them. You know, they should feel gratitude for that, appreciation. It doesn't matter how many times it happens. Because without those people supporting their movies, them supporting their music or whatever they do, they wouldn't be making the income and the living that they make. You know, they wouldn't be able to live in their passion. They would have to work a job to pay their bills and then they most likely wouldn't have time to live within their passion. So that's why I just don't understand how people can get upset or angry or things like that when you know that's what it comes with you know you, you become that famous you got to understand that people are going to want to take photos of you and selfies and like it just comes with it so i just i just don't yeah i don't i will never get like that it doesn't matter how well known I get if I get well known but I do have a feeling like creator has a big plan for me like a really really big plan like I have a feeling still that one of these days I'm going to be doing an opening speech on a Tony Robbins stage you know wherever that takes me and I'm going to be on some of these podcasts and these these shows that, that I listen to every day you know, I have a feeling because, you know, I enjoy making the content I make. I have fun with it. 
realize that I am really, really helping people. Like I'm really affecting people in a positive way. And it's just, it's slowly adding up, you know, as long as I'm consistent with my posting, as long as I'm consistent with my work, as long as I'm consistent with showing up every day, I'm eventually going to get to where I want to. And all this hard work that I'm doing now is going to give me that appreciation for down the road when I do make it, you know? And I'm going to have that gratitude and I'm going to feel that sense of pride all these long hours of putting it in, putting into my craft, the editing, the, the filming, the pushing myself out of the boundaries, this whole vlog, vlog thing. Pushing me to become who I'm praying for, right? I can't just sit there and pray and pray and pray to become that person without putting the work in. That's just not going to work. That's just not how it works. And people don't understand that you have to put the hours in, you have to put the time in, you have to put the reps in. You have to, and you got to keep doing that. Once you get there, that's what they say. You know, it's the hardest part is they say that it's easy to get six pack abs. The hardest part is maintaining your body to get that six, to keep those six pack abs. That's the hardest part because you've already obtained it. Now you gotta just keep, you know, sharp, keep it sharp. So, yeah, I thought I would just jump on for a second and talk about that and kind of express how I feel. And I'm gonna pick you up in a bit because uh, I shouldn't really be driving and on this dirt road, anyways, and talking to you. So, yeah, I'll pick you up in a bit. So we made it nice and safe. Uh, it's 3.19 a.m. And I'm in Humboldt. I'm gonna get a hotel room, I think. Oh, I can't even remember what the hotel room, the hotel is. Um, yeah, it's kind of a long drive. Almost hit a skunk <laughs> and I almost hit a freaking owl the silly thing was just like I don't know what it was doing on the road anyways I almost hit an owl almost hit a skunk and some weird looking dog looking things there was like two of them one was like running around the road didn't know where to go and the other one was like hopping uh, I don't know I was doing some weird hopping thing I don't know if I'm just tired or what but I I have a dash cam, so I uh, got it. I got uh, I got hands free with it, so I got Garmin to save it because I don't know what it is. I'll check it out tomorrow. Um, we're only an hour away from uh, Saskatoon, which is nice. So I'm, I'll get a nice sleep here. I was gonna try and push myself, but now that I'm here in Humboldt, I'm like, nah, I can't push myself, man. So. We're gonna get some gas real quickly. I think this gas station is open. Nice it is. We're gonna get some gas here at a petrol can at a 7-Eleven. Boom, $1.68. And uh, we're like two minutes from the hotel, so I'm gonna get some gas right here right now. Uh, so I don't have to gas up in the morning. I'm gonna just get up, grab some coffee, and head out. So I'll check in with you at the hotel. So we are here, I think we're going to be staying, this is like basically the only place left I had rooms left, the Bella Vista Inn, um, everything else was taken up, I was looking up online, and uh, yeah, this is the only thing that had rooms available, but uh, the, re the reviews are pretty good, so uh, we're going to go in here and get a room, and yeah, I'll jump back on in a minute or two and uh, let you know how the rooms look. So we got a room, the last room in the hotel in the town of Humboldt. It's pretty, uh, pretty old and dingy. The Bell Mont Vista, or whatever. I don't know. It's just to get some sleep, get some shut eye. I got my Kangen water. Uh, I'll fill up all my jugs tomorrow with that. Take a shower typical bed hmm 
That's kind of weird. W over there, gas station. Maybe we'll turn the AC on in a minute. Um, one thing I always do when I get in hotel rooms, I always gotta check. I always check the. Sorry, sorry. I always check the beds um, for the little friends. Because there was a time, one time, where I was in a place called, called Ottawa, and I always have a hinge to check the beds. And what the fuck is that? What's that? Nope, that's nothing. But I always check the beds for friends. Because this one time, I was in Ontario, Ottawa, and the bed was infested with bed bugs. Like really, 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 really bad. And uh, now, I always check the beds to see uh, what the condition is like because yeah and you can tell if a bed has bed bugs or not and this one looks like it doesn't have anything it looks pretty clean a little dirty under the mattress but whatever um, usually they'll be like in here up in this area and you'll be able to see them right away or you lift this little lift these and then you can see them under here they like to hide in there as well um doesn't matter what kind of hotel it is even if it's a, a brand new hotel you can still get bed books but most newer hotels they actually what they'll do is they will um look at these sheets like who the frick uses these kind of sheets for a hotel you should like 70s or I don't know anyways it's a bed it's a, a bed warm shower the reason why I mainly got it is so I can fill my congan water up tomorrow so I have congan water this weekend at the powwow um I think I'm going to be sp splitting a splitting a RV this weekend a little travel trailer with with uh, James, Mr. Notorious Cree, I was chatting with him earlier. I think he's gonna come out to uh, Frog Lake and it's like 100 bucks a night for an RV travel trailer. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll be able to get a decent sleep in Frog Lake too. If not, I was just gonna set up my tent and camp it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, basically get ready for bed. Cause I am freaking tired. Um, hoping I brought everything in, brought my toothbrush, all that. Yeah. So we are gonna head to bed. I'm gonna shower in the morning. I'll shower and shave in the morning. I don't wanna do that tonight. I'm way too tired. I just wanna sleep. Usually I would shower and shave, but I'm just, I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm pretty beat. Um, just brush my teeth. That's about it. And yeah, we'll pick you up in the morning. Um, so stay tuned. Good night. Ah!